Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malibu. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Pelo Coach Tabby and how it holds up over the years. But first, if you like content like this, subscribe and check out my channel. Now let's get right into the video. coach Pella Tabby in size 26 that I got from Nordstrom's. I got this around 2021, I think. And obviously this was the it bag of that year. And I can't believe I actually got my hands on it. When they named this bag Pello, they were absolutely right because you always just want to squish it and just touch it. And I believe this is Napa leather. And I love that Coach lists what fits into the bag and it also has some videos on what types of things go in there, not only for women, but for men. Like I said, I would tell you guys how it holds up over the years. And to be honest, it does have some wrinkling all around the bag, which does make sense since this is such a supple and plush leather. I would expect it. So it is kind of sad that it has worn a good amount over the years. It's still holding up great. As you can see, there is some wear on the front emblem. And that's just from opening it up all the time from that area. These straps are detachable, so if you wanted to have a longer strap, that's totally doable. You just take this off or keep it on and you can add a chain strap or a sport strap from Louie. I don't mind mixing my straps. Some people think it's a no-no. I think it's really cute to mix designers. It also came with this tag. that's also pelly soft that you can move this from bag to bag if you wanted to. The hardware is gold, and as you can see, right when I'm opening it, the wrinkling is quite bad, and the sides also do wrinkle a lot. Here's the bottom wear. Whenever I do bring this out, I never set it on the floor. I don't know who does, but there might be some people that do. So it would have been nice to have some feet on it, like the product nap tote. But since it is a shoulder bag, I always just have it on my lap. So opening it up, here is the long strap that comes with it. This is the same exact color and pillowy texture that the rest of the bag is. And the gold hardware. Obviously this is Coach and not Prada, Dior, Chanel. And so the quality is not the highest that other brands have, but they do care about their customers a lot. I know that they have a cleaning service and you can go into the boutiques and ask for help with your bag and you can always contact customer service, whereas higher end brands kind of just don't really care about aftercare with their products. Like you can go into Louis and get your bag repaired only if the canvas is not ripped, which I feel as though that's a big downside of their brand, whereas Coach is looking into recycling their bags. They have Coach Repair Workshop and they will always take back your bags so that they don't end up in landfills, which I think is really great for this brand and that other luxury brands should look into this because too many unused bags end up in the landfills and never in any pre-loved websites or stores. So I have really been looking into the Coach brand recently. The strap does adjust longer I have yet to wear this crossbody. I've been more of a shoulder strap person lately, but I will have to try that out sometime. Here is the inside metal wear and the button. On the inside is a little coach story. Uh, one cool fact about Coach is they started in New York City, which if you've seen my other channel with my mom, you know that we absolutely adore New York City and I think it's great to have a brand like this. As you can tell, there is some wrinkling in the inside pockets that has worn down over time. 
and there is a smaller pocket in the middle which is great to hold any money that you have anything that you need here is the wear on the inside flap after four years three to four years 2021 I'm not good at math. Overall, this bag has been with me for a good couple of years. I have used the heck out of it. It goes with any outfit. I love the neutral color that it has. And of course, the pillowy softness. Does it wear like a Louis bag? I would say that it has a lot more wear than any of my other bags do. Some bags that I've had for longer. I will look into the coach workshop and see what they can do about this creasing and cracking a little bit on the edges. When I do bring it into a coach workshop, I will keep you guys updated. Right now, it looks fine. I'm happy with it. I think that it will be in my collection for a very long time, if not forever, especially with coaches repair workshop. Now I will show you guys what I can fit into the Coach Pillow Tabby 26. Of course, I have my mic pack. I have my wallet. I'm going to take my glasses out of the case to try to save some space. And some lip care products out of my Kirigami to also save some space. As a reminder, this is a smaller shoulder bag. If you want to know what fits into a larger shoulder bag, I do have my Tureen PM in a video that I will link above and maybe below. And of course, my AirPods. And here is what I would put in here if I was just going out right now. Obviously, it could fit more, but right now, this is all I would need for today. Here it is from the side. And yeah, hopefully I will get a new coach bag soon to review. I've been looking at the Soho, but I'm also on a low buy, so that might not happen for a while. In the description down below, I will have this bag linked so you can go check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't be shy and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell for future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. If you have any ideas, questions, or suggestions, comment them down below. Bye.